This summer was filled with more disappointments than my entire four years of high school. Now, does this mean that in a world of high-tech home theaters, golden age TV, and internet films, the movie theater as we know is a dying beast? Well, let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves the loop. Joining us tonight, our personal movie connoisseur, Chris Gore, is here from FilmRadar.com. Webmaster Carrie Bible joins us. And Scream Fest Film Festival Marketing Manager and BloodyDisgusting.com Webmaster Brad Miska is here. Everybody, welcome to The Loop. Chris, let me start with you, sir. This, this movie theater business, I hear it's a bazillion dollars a year type industry, but competing with Netflix and home theaters and everything else that's going on around the world, do they really stand a chance? Uh, no, actually. The answer is no. It's, it's just a matter of time before the movie theater starts to die off. And I'll give you an example. In the 1960s, the drive-in was huge. 5,000 drive-in movie theater screens across the United States. Now, there's 200 screens. The, the truth is, people's habits change. I mean, do you remember CDs? Remember those things, those little silver platters you'd listen to music on? Yeah, my you'd, grandfather had a... You download music. You download the music. The only habits days. that are going to change are studios' habits. What they're going to do is they're going to cut down the budgets of films, which are astronomically huge right now and totally unnecessary. Who needs to spend $200, $300 million on a movie to try and recoup that after marketing? The way I see it, no filmmaker is going to make their film thinking, gee, how is this going to look on a PSP? How is this going to look on an iPod? I think movie going in a public theater setting has been around for almost 100 years. I think it will continue regardless of technological innovations. Yeah, and I think Hopscotch is making a comeback, too. Hey, you the, know, they the still kids. sell hula hoops at Toys R Us, Chris. Let's not forget. But I, I think it might turn into a point where you get the DVD when you go see the movie in theaters, and then you go buy the extra features later. There's many different ways that this could go. But now, Brad, why would somebody want to go and spend you know, the 20 to $25 on the ticket for the theater and the popcorn, etc., when they could just spend the $20, sometimes even the $14.99, and get the DV, DVD version to watch at home on their big the same, high def TV? The, the same reason that malls still exist. You can go buy everything you need to buy over at Amazon.com, but you still go to a mall to try on the clothes. You want to go to the theater for the experience. There's nothing that beats the actual communal experience of seeing a movie in a theater with lots of people sharing that common experience. Yes, sharing their cell phones and sharing their texting and sharing their changing their baby's diaper and sharing all, making, making inane comments at the screen. Look, going to the movies now is more miserable than it's been ever with, with people just no sense of, look, we're watching a film, relax. You know, I, it, it's, it's awful. It costs too much. For the cost of going to a movie, you can buy two or three DVDs. You know, refreshments are expensive. The advertising, those annoying ads that just don't end, going to the movies sucks. If, oh, theater, a great movie theater, my house. Down, if theater owners would knuckle down and have ushers that take people out that use cell phones, that forbid you know, people bringing in their Blackberries during movies, if they really enforced quality control at movie theaters, I don't think this would be And some problem. movies. Some movies are meant to be seen in the theater. True. Absolutely. I mean, you can't see a big sci-fi a uh, special effects feature at home and really appreciate it like you can on an IMAX screen. Well, or I like, I like what Carrie's saying here about ushers. Like, I understand that, that there are things that the theaters need to do to improve the experience, but why haven't they done these things? And, and what else do they need to do, do Carrie? Well, I think first they need to get ushers. First they need to police these screenings where you cannot bring in screaming children, where you cannot turn on your cell phones, your Blackberries. They need to remove people that do. I think quality control is really important. I also think another solution would be advertising the time that the movie starts and also advertising the time that the commercial starts. So those of us like me who don't want to go to that, can we can show up 10, 20 minutes late just in time for the movie without having to see the advertising. I think there are solutions to these problems. Well, these are great suggestions, Carrie, but you know, come on, you could beat up most of the ushers that are at these movie theaters. I mean, give me a break. That's not that's not going to happen, but you know, I'm lucky. I live in L.A. that has one of the greatest movie theaters on the planet, the Arclight, that, that charges actually more money than the normal ticket price and kind of keeps out the riffraff so you can actually enjoy the film experience. They even have an over-21 theater where you can drink beer. I like that suggestion. I think that's moving in the right direction. Brad, now what do you think about all this? Do you have a high-def set at home? Do you have a big screen TV that you sit back and watch DVDs on? No, but a bunch of my friends do. We have projectors in our yards we watch films on. But... I just st- I still appreciate the theater experience, and there's certain movies I like when people are screaming at the screen. I, like, I go to Grindhouse all the time in Los Angeles. Uh, there's, there's many, many, many films that I would rather see in a theater and will never, ever watch at home. I would Amen. just rather with, watch it with people. Now, Chris, you, you wrote an article, uh, you had some opinions on your site a while back about a future where theaters don't even exist. Do you think we'll actually see that point? 
Well, I can definitely see the theater experience dwindling because, because again, habits change. You know, comic books. I used to read comic books when I was a kid. Kids these days don't read comic books. They, they play Xbox, you know. So, so I think that definitely the theater experience will shrink. But you're going to see perhaps, you know, Brad said something earlier. I actually think you're going to get to a day where you're going to go see the new Harry Potter movie and you're going to be able to go to the movies and see it or you can buy the uh, DVD for $100 or you can get it on pay-per-view for $150. But if you think about it, that's actually a bargain because it'll be like, you know, a championship fight. You buy it for a hundred bucks, you invite your friends over, and you watch it at home. And with, and Brad, also, uh, you know, you got to get yourself an HD because that's why, you know, you can get it 18 months, no interest, no payments, there's no excuse. <laughs> get that big screen, it's awesome. Are you not going to push the service plan as well, Chris? <laughs> no, I'm not pushing the service plan. Uh, but, I, but I still wouldn't have my theater cherry coke and my big thing of popcorn made. Oh, no, my personal opinion, you cannot replicate the theater experience in your home. That is just my opinion. Right. I did not even own a DVD player for ages. I use it maybe once a year. I go to the movies all the time and see stuff on the big screen. To me, it's the best and really only way to experience this right. no, 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 it, no, DVD, DVD is the way to go. L listen, theater. as cinephiles have more and more options and are able to replicate the theater experience in their own living rooms, attendance to your local theater is sure to continue to dip. But there's nothing quite like seeing a really bad movie with 200 of your closest friends while your feet stick to the theater floor. And until they can replicate that at home, I'm going to be there opening night. Thanks to our guests for joining us and keeping us in the loop.